be doing a little video here just to show music directors how to remove the prefixes from items that they're removing from rotation. So here I am at the Spinatron landing page. I just signed in. Um, I'm going to uh, go to reports. And then you go to search and chart. Landing page here is just a uh, list of all the spins we've done over the last week in reverse order. So right now, Paul's on air. He just played some Mingus. Good Paul. Um, I am, uh, the first thing we have to look at here is the window of time that we're looking at. Right now we're looking at the last week. And if I want to get the tag off of this release, I'm going to have to go back as long as it's been in rotation. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is, is filter the release, filter by release. So I'm looking for DW-004 and uh, okay, there it is. It only got played once in the last week. So it's a good thing I'm getting this out of here. Um, so here, I'm going to go back a whole year, actually. So I'm just going to run the same search with the same filter, DW4, for the whole year. Okay, now here again, we have Dave playing it last this past Sunday. And it goes in reverse order. So I'm just going to see what the oldest one is to make sure it's not exactly a year back. And actually, it's not. So the first time it got played was in November. And uh, so it looks like I've got them all. Another thing you could do is just in case anybody's messed up the uh, putting this in and put it in wrong or forgot to put the prefix in, I'm actually going to type here instead of DW4, complete Cuban jam sessions. Or maybe even just complete Cuban jam just to widen the uh, the net a little bit, but it didn't change at all. So in this case, it looks like everybody put it in right, or I corrected them later. I, I do do that. I go behind people and sort of fix a lot of their playlist entries so that we can track everything correctly. But anyway, it looks like we have 58 spins to change on two different pages of display. One and two, see down here. Unfortunately, you can only deal with one page at a time. So what I'm going to do is uh, now another good thing about having complete Cuban Jam session here, and I'm just going to look through and make sure everything is the way I want it to be. And it looks right. Um, these are all the same release. Is that now I can change one of these, and I will, by hitting Alt-Click, I get this. And I'm going to change one of them to take the tag off by hitting backspace and check. So I just deleted the DW4 part. If DW4 was still here in the filter, this one would disappear immediately off the page. and wouldn't be useful to me. But now I've got the title. This is the title that I want on all of them. So what I do is select all of them on this page by hitting this square. And then clicking on the item, the, uh, the entry that uh, is correct to change all of them in this column, in the release column, to this value. It asks me if I want to do it. I say OK. And then they all change to that, the whole page. Then it's got to go to the second page and do the same thing. So you go to the second page. Now they all have the they all have the prefix on here. So once again, I do Alt click, go back to the beginning of the entry, and delete the prefix off. Now it's gone. Check. Okay. So it didn't disappear because DW4 is not in the filter up here. Click on that. And you click on that to change everything on the page to that same value in that column. Complete Cuban Jam Sessions, no prefix. And now we're done. This is all you need. You can do this with other values, too. I noticed on uh, page one that one of the years was wrong. Right here. See this one? This one's wrong. 
So if I click on these two little selector things here, click on this, it'll change to 2019 to 2018. Okay, let's check to make sure everything is right and tight. Oh, it all looks good. Now we're done.